All right, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Curse of the Green Triangles. I'm playing some MW2 right here, and I drop a 40-plus kill TDM, and I still lose. <laughs> Damn, these, these green guacamole chips are in full effect, people. But look, man, as bad as this was, still um, the worst episode of The Curse of the Green Triangles, the worst teammates I ever had. I don't know if you guys remember that Black Ops 2 gameplay I uploaded where I went on that 28-gun streak. I was using uh, Team Non-Lethal, I got three VSATs, and we still lost. If you guys have not seen that video, I know a lot of you guys did, but for those of you who haven't seen that one, check it out first, link in the description. It was absolutely pitiful. But anyway, so we're back here on MW2, and a lot of people have been asking me, Thunder, where's the Titanfall vids at, man? Come on, where's the Titanfall vids at? And look, guys, I went and played Titanfall yesterday. I plugged my Xbox One back in. And I did some updates, had to do a big Xbox One update, had to do a Titanfall update, and I, I got back on Titanfall. I played it for maybe like an hour, and it was still fun. I had a great time. Didn't really get any upload-worthy gameplays, though. I don't know what's going on, man, but I keep getting in lobbies full of 10th generation dudes. There's like, everyone's a 10th generation. Get out of my face, son. No, this guy thinks I'm camping. Look at this dude. He's trying to troll me. This dude thinks I'm camping, but I'm not really camping. I just don't want to get killed by the other team's Harrier. I'm doing the smart thing right here. Come on, son, get off of me. Now, look at this dude. This dude's playing the full court press. Get off me, man. Get off of me. There you go. So I get my pave low. And I still don't want to go outside because a Harrier's up there. Harrier, one of the best kill streaks ever. Now, a Harrier got destroyed. I thought it was the other team's Harrier. But no. No, it was my Harrier that got destroyed. <laughs> so the other team's Harrier still killed me. Oh, my God. So I was. <laughs> that was a pretty stupid move right there on my part. And, uh, and I get taken out. So guys, look, I don't know what's going on with the Titanfall, man, but I, somehow I keep getting put in 10th prestige lobbies. Uh, I heard there's some kind of skill-based matchmaking that got put in play in Titanfall. I hope that's not true, man. It should be, it should be regional matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking needs to go, man. And look, I'm not against a competitive match every once in a while, but I did notice that I was lagging a lot more in Titanfall than I normally do. Look at this dude trying to command. Get out of my face, son. Trying to commando lunge my boys. I don't think so. And watch this, watch this. I get, I get blown up, and for some reason, man, I just, I just switch to my, uh, <laughs> my danger close. It's time to play tuba noob. I just switch to my danger close noob tube class, and this is just a class for me to just be as annoying as humanly possible. Look, look at this, another Harrier coming in. Come on, man. <laughs> so as you can see, I got the noob tube on this. I got the danger close. I got the scrambler. I got the smoke grenades. Oh, get on, baby, two piece. And the whole purpose of this class is for me to just be as annoying as possible. Because, I mean, it is MW2. You need a class like this. I guarantee every single one of you watching this video is going to class like this. And look at how horrible my my aim is with the RPG. First one curves up. That one curved down. Oh, my God. I suck. Loyal Patriots watching this video just shaking his head right now. And you know what, man? As newbie as RPGs are, especially in this game, it does take some skill to aim. It does take some skill to aim. And like I was saying, man, I'm not against a competitive match every once in a while, but getting constantly put in lobbies of... How did I miss that dude? How did I miss... But getting constantly put in lobbies of 10th uh, generation dudes on a bad connection? Come on, respawn. Come on, respawn. Fuck the skill-based matchmaking, bro. And all you guys going forward. Sledgehammer's new game, whatever it is. Call of Duty Patriots, World War One era. I highly doubt that, by the way. But whatever the hell that game is, it should be announced within the next... Probably sometime this week it'll be announced. And there you go, MW2, baby. <laughs> oh, fuck the skill-based matchmaking, man. The matchmaking should be connectivity only. And uh, speaking of skill-based matchmaking, <laughs> look at the RPG, just firing random RPGs and getting kills. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what I think about um, Call of Duty being in the X Games. Uh, look, man, Call of Duty's not a sport, man. I'm sorry. It's not. And I have all the respect in the world for pro players. I'm not trying to disrespect any pro players. Uh, it, it's not an, it's not a sport. I know you guys say, well, it's an eSport. Look, man, sport and Call of Duty got no business being in the same sentence. If anything, uh, at, at best, you could call it an e-activity. And even with all the raging and screaming and slamming controllers on the ground you do, that would qualify as an, as an e-activity, not a sport. There was one guy who used to send me videos. Uh, <laughs> bam, bitch, two-piece with the RPG. There was one guy who used to send me videos uh, to TSG. I can't remember what his name is, man. It was a long time ago, but every time he died, he used to drop down, and he would vlog this. He'd have, like, a, a, a face cam of him up in the top corner, and every time he died, he would drop and do push-ups, and he'd get back up and play again. Now, if, if those eSports guys did that, uh, you know, those pro players, if they did that, then maybe you could call it 
an eSport. But it's an e-activity, man. It don't belong in the X Games. Uh, but hey, uh, props to you guys, man. You're growing, which is good. Uh, but but it's an e activity. It's not an e sport. And again, man, I'm just I'm just telling you guys exactly how I feel. I'm not trying to sugarcoat shit. And if I offend any pro players out there, hey, man, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and give you guys a fake opinion on something. Another thing people have been asking me about is this whole Donald Sterling mess. The guy who owns the uh, <laughs> well, who used to own the L.A. Clippers. Hey, hey look, guys, an old rich racist white guy? No way, really? <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, look, uh, it's unfortunate that this whole thing came about. And look, man, the bitch that turned him in, his uh, his his girlfriend or fiance, whatever the hell she is, his side piece. Hey, look, man, he bought her like four cars. He bought her two Bentleys and she still ratted him out. So it just goes to show you, man, the bitch was like some mercenary booty, man. And you can never trust mercenary booty. OK, <laughs> because don't think money can buy you loyalty, man, because it can't. The bitch turned him in and uh, Mr. Sterling. Like my boy Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, hasta la vista, baby. Uh, hey, Mr. Sterling, you probably should have bought maybe an NHL team, you know? I don't think an NBA team. Hey, look, man, if you're a racist, you probably shouldn't buy an NBA team. And I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? Uh, Mr. Sterling, go out and buy an NHL team. Go, go buy the San Jose Sharks, man. Turn their stupid asses around. The San Jose Sharks, how did you go up three to nothing and still lose all oh, my... Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. Um... <laughs> It is what it is. And there you go, guys. I lose. And you know what? I'm not going to put this loss squarely on my teammates' shoulders because I was a mess with those RPGs. I could not aim. Look at all these dudes in here. If I could have just aimed them RPGs better, I could have got a multi-kill and, and won the game. But there you go, guys. Curse the green triangles. Drop a 41-4 and four and still lose. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is, man. It's hilarious. How the fuck? <laughs> anyway, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary. And if you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. I'll see y'all on the next one.